as all you, you all know that the knee joint injuries or knee pain is partly quite common for the elite or the recreational athletes and quite commonly observed the knee brace, knee brace and also the knee tape. Uh, it was reported that the uh, players with a knee pain or knee injuries will show conservative or even compensatory movements that will probably reduce the performance and even leading to some other injury risks. And from the injury mechanism, it was revealed that the chronic injury is due to the repetitive submaximal lunges accumulation. But for the acute injuries, it's because of maximum lunges plus some inciting factors such as the court or the full weight or even some players are fatigued or something. Uh, current approaches of the musculoskeletal modeling and also the final ailment simulation provide feasible and reliable approaches to solve this problem. And thus, uh, our project is aiming to first reveal the knee joint kinematics, that's basically the joint angles, and also the knee joint moments in, 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 in Newton per, kilo, per meter per kilogram, and also the cordyceps, that's basically this muscle, cordyceps muscles force, and also the knee joint contact force, and also the, the fifth is a patella and femoral cartilage, that's a soft tissue in uh, stress. Uh, I'm currently work, uh, working uh, research staff in Nimbo University. Actually, we work very close with the Zhejiang College of Sports. That's actually Zheng Siwei and Huang Yaqiong, where it comes from. And I recruit 20 national Chinese badminton athletes. These are the basic information. And in terms of code, the different colors, that's actually to highlight my results later. Uh, that's the basic protocol. I, I invited the players into the lab and doing the study. Uh, study conditions to get the model and also I got the imaging data to see you see that's the city based knee model because the knee joint is actually has a medial compartment a lateral compartment that's the condom and I want to reveal how the force distributed either on the medial side or the lateral side that's actually quite important uh, also I do the inverse kinematics to okay, get joint angles and do the inverse dynamics to get the joint moments and the static condition to get the muscle activation and also the muscle force and also I do the joint reaction to get the joint contact force. That's the approach. First, I do the lab motion capture to get the uh, marker trajectory and also the ground reaction force. From the animation here, I did the inverse kinematics to get the knee joint angles and also the knee inverse dynamic to get the knee joint moments. From the animation, you can see the green arrow goes up. That's actually the ground reaction force, the three-dimensional ground reaction force. And from here, I do the static composition. You can see the, the, the lines as actually the muscles, and the colors goes from blue to red. That's actually to show the muscle activation. From blue is no activation, to red is 100% activation. I can get the joint, uh, the muscle force. And the next step is the final element. You can see from here, that's basically the green one goes up is the ground reaction force. And the dark green is the tibial femur contact force. That's basically the knee joint contact force. And the blue one goes up is the patellar femoral contact force. From the kinematics, I can get the knee joint positions. And also the quadricep goes up. That's the uh, boundary condition applied for the final element model simulation. See the, to see the cartilage stress condition. And that's the process from the images to get the model, the, the position, and also apply the quadricep muscle force. See, that's the, that's the cartilage stress distribution. Okay, comes to my results. You see, this is the animation of the movements I did. And for all my players, they are right-handed. And you can see here the right forward, right backward, left backward, left forward. That basically means right hand uh, forecourt and backward, and back and backward, forecourt and back and backward. And in terms of kinematics, the joint angles, only in the horizontal plane, the internal rotation, I found some difference in the back and backward. From my explanation, that probably is because during this returning, the players has a 100% you know, rotating and backward facing the court. That's probably the reason. And here, also one thing to be noted is that the, the backhand backcourt has a higher knee flexion moment. That should be noted. 
because for me, the player moves rapidly to that position. From my knowledge, I think most of the athletes, the backhand backcourt is always the most vulnerable side returning because they want to move that return and come to the base position because they don't know, they're not sure how it's a return. The opponent may just smash. And in terms of the knee contact force, as I mentioned, I have the medial compartment and lateral compartment. That's actually quite interesting. You can see where the landing, where the landing, most of the force focus to the medial side during the during the landing, but while pushing off, the force goes to the lateral side. Uh, from my explanation, that's probably because the media, because uh, for the cordyceps, I have the full force. The media cordyceps is quite stronger, much stronger than the lateral side. That actually most of the you know, loadings you want to want to be noticed is actually during the landing, during the braking, and and this muscle is quite strong and leading to most of the the contact force to the media side during the during the impact. While the pushing off is because of the the hip pulling the the position. Actually, you. Most of the injuries happen here, not here, right? And that's, that's one thing to be noted. And from here, that's the patellar femoral contact, contact force. You can see for, uh, that's basically the distribution. And the left backhand, that's the same as I mentioned before, is the same, quite consistent, that the backhand backhold has higher patellar femoral contact force. That also should be noted. And Using the knee joint angles and also the quadriceps, that's basically the vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, uh, and vastus injured. That's basically the full force. I apply the force into the motor, and you can see the distribution of the stress. And here, basically the same, the backhand backward, they have a lot high, much higher stress than other direction. This probably, from my expression, this probably is because one thing that once going to that return, players tend to you know, move faster and also the muscles activate stronger because they want to rapidly return and then come back to the base position for the next return, they, they don't know. And as I mentioned, I also did the sub-maximum and also maximum lunges and you can see the knee movement basically almost doubled, that's quite huge. And also the contact force increased compared to the sub maximum. These are the muscle force of these four, these four mu muscles, as I mentioned. Uh, because I have a lot of athletes, for the force, I normalize the unit into body weight because the athlete, the force, the body weight is different. But in terms of your athletes, for each, each individual, you can just measure the, 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 new, the muscle force in Newton and normalize that into body weight. That's the reference. And the conclusion is that basically the backhand, especially the backhand backhold, has higher knee contact force, that should be noted. And also, I explained the muscle force, basically the medium, medium quarter is stronger than the lateral side. But you don't want that, you want to balance the knee loading, not just focus to the medial side, you want to balance that. And that basically means, apart from the, the, the medial quarter you want to emphasize the lateral quarter as well. That basically is the, 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 the muscle contribution you can just utilize in the training program to you know, improve the muscle, the quarter muscle force, so as to maybe prevent or even increase the performance. Okay, coaches, I'm going to move you on to the last rotation, please. This just, is the last one choice. One, you one of the two the stations you've not yet been to. Apart from the, the soft tissue loadings, actually the ligament injuries are also quite important. Currently, I'm doing and the presenters, the I'm going to ask you to start in... To synchronize the force as one of the loadings with the sensor. Five, I'm sure sensors. four, and synchronize three, moving that into the court. Two, to, to achieve a real one, last station. Thank you.